there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, OPAT life, field set, and all of those things. This video is part of your Math Monday series because every Mondays I post a new math lesson and today we're going to talk about word work problems. Work word problems. Actually, I've done a few videos on this already and if you haven't seen those yet, go ahead and pause this video. Click niyo muna yung I dito sa taas and uh, para makahabol kayo kasi I already explained doon yung fundamentals itong problem na to. Kasi if hindi niyo napanood, hindi niyo na gets, this video may be a little hard for you to understand. So you need to have your uh, basics straightened out first. So watch those videos muna. Okay? Kasi ito ay higher than that. Medyo mas complicated than that. Kasi we're going to talk about work word problems if merong mga stops and starts. Ano ibig sabihin? Kung merong mga worker na nag-work for 6 days, tas huminto. Worker na nag-work for 2 hours and then nag-stop. At uh, may someone who took yung kanilang job after that. There are a few changes of formula ng mga gitong problems. And I really wanted to uh, give you as many of these uh, combinations as possible in this video para maging ready kayo kung ano man ang ibabato sa inyo sa inyong take na exam. Okay? So, for those na papansin, ito po ay part ng ating um, official merch ng Team Laika. So, if you don't have this yet, if you want one of the shirts that I made, you can go to our merch shop sa Funder. There's a link down below for that. I would love to have you parang wear these. Salamat sa mga nagpadala ng mga selfie nila wearing the shirts that I made. It always brings so much joy to me and yung mga uh, kikitain natin dyan ay mapupunta sa isang project natin for Christmas. It will uh, make some kids really happy. So, I really hope na um, uh, you find time or find it in your heart to do that, especially if you have the resources naman. Okay? So, this is part no ating first, uh, second run ng Never Stop Learning na uh, na shirts. Dati kasi black. Yung shirt, white yung print. Ito, white shirt, black print para sa mga malakas mga millennial na OOTD dyan na ayaw ng black. Okay? So, you can also uh, buy it in black and you can buy it in white. Okay? So, now we're going to talk about yun nga, yung discussion natin, work word problems level, level, level up. And in order for me to explain that better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so let's talk about yung work problems na my stops and starts. This is uh, going to be a li little tricky. Uh, I know na um, maybe some of you may not get this the first time that you watch it. It really takes a lot of practice and a lot of, um, well, a lot of thinking then. So if you don't get it right away, forgive yourself and then just try to watch it again, try to take it na slowly. Hopefully, makukuha nyo siya. Now, ang hope natin is that pagdating sa actual exam, sana simple lang yung tanong. Pero in case na it's going to be harder, that's why I made this video. Now, if you're taking the college entrance test, upkat, ganon, you may expect na ganitong level ng difficulty yung ma-encounter ninyo versus yung mga simple lang natin na work problems. Again, if you haven't seen the other videos I made on this series, you can click right here sa taas. You would need to do that kasi um, yung concept or yung basic concept nito, hindi ko na i-discuss in this video. So, if hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, you can pause this muna and watch those first. Alright? So, um, uh, let's uh, start the discussion. First, ito yung basic concept natin, di ba? Ito yung basic formula. And in order for me to explain better uh, itong mga susunod na parts, I would need to go back to this just as a point of reference, okay? Now, ang nilalagay natin dito ay itong parts na ito. And I, we, I need to uh, emphasize that. Yung na, nilalagay natin dito sa ilalim, that is yung person A, okay? Kung ilang gano siya, gano siya katagal niyang ginagawa yung isang, isang job alone. Okay? Ito naman sa ilalim nito, dito natin lalagay kung merong person B at kung gano'n niya na katagal ginagawa yung jobs, same job na yon alone. Okay? Now, if in case may isa pang person, diadagdagan natin ng isa pang plus and then another fraction here. Okay? Now, in this right here, nilalagay natin kung ilan yung number of hours na ginagawa nila yung job together. Kaya in case na ito ang nawawala sa tanong, so for example, binigay kung ilang oras si A, ilang oras si B, ang nawawala ay kung gano'n sila katagal pag nagtulungan sila, dito natin nilalagay yung X. That's the reason for that. Now in here, ipot yung uh, number ng work na kailangan nilang gawin. 
So usually we put one here, kung kunyari isang isang kotse ang hugasan, isang bahay ang tata, itatayo nila, kung isang kwart ang lilinisin, we put one here. Pero if in case dalawang kotse ang hugasan nila, we put two. Okay? Pero it's usually one. Now, I want to go back here and explain kung bakit naging one over and then kung ano yung number of hours. Ito yung operating concept nito. If, kunyari, if A can finish the job in three hours, ang ibig sabihin niyan is that sa bawat isang oras, okay, per hour, ang natatapos niya ay one over three. One third nung job. Okay, for example, uh, again, kunyari, may kotse siyang hinuhugasan. Tatlong oras niyang natatapos yon na rinisin. So, sa loob ng isang oras, okay, ang nahugasan niya pa lang dun sa kotse is one-third, right? Or kung isang pader yung pipinturahan niya, kung four hours niya yon natatapos, ibig sabihin, pag pinahinto mo siya sa loob ng isang oras, ang nat natapos niya pa lang na pinturahan na wall ay one-fourth nung buong wall. That's the reason why you put it there. Kasi ang idea would be, Kung itong si A, okay, ay nagtatrabaho, kunyari, 3 hours niya natatapos, si B, 4 hours niya natatapos, um, ibig sabihin, sa isang isang oras, dahil nagtulungan sila, kaya nga plus, nagtulungan sila, yung pader, matatapos nila yung 1 third plus 1 fourth nung pader. Okay? So, hindi walang overlap kasi magtutulungan nga sila. That is why we multiply it with the number of hours na magtatrabaho sila together. Kasi, Ang idea would be, instead of kung mag-isa lang siya one-third siya, kung mag-isa lang siya one-fourth siya, pag nagsama sila, syempre mas mabilis sila, we put here kung ano nawawala na hours nila together. Now, why am I telling you this? Kasi, if in case, ang question is, uh, ilang oras nagtatrabaho si A by herself, okay, ang mangyayari would be, syempre, ito yung siya lang, siya lang ang imumultiply natin by kung ilang oras na siyang nagtatrabaho. Okay? Which I will show you later kung bakit ito nagba matter. Alright? Now, let's take one question. This is how we uh, understand it. We need to use yung uh, formula na concept. So, sabi, Anna can build a snowman in 4 hours. Elsa can build one in 2 hours. So, pag mag si Anna, 4 hours. Pag mag si Elsa, 2 hours. Okay? Now, sabi, Anna started building a snowman alone. This sentence right here is very important. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, hindi sila magkasamang nagsimula. Naunang nagsimula si Anna. So, meron na siyang pauna na trabaho. Okay? Now, ganito ang itsura niyan. Nagiging itsura niyan sa formula. Bakit? Kasi again, kung si Anna ang nagsimula mag-build na snowman alone, ibig sabihin, okay, hindi pa nagsisimula tumulong si Elsa, nakatapos na siya. Part of the snowman na gawa niya na. And anong part yon? Dahil kaya niya mag-build na snowman in 4 hours, that is one-fourth, Times the number of hours or dami ng oras na ginugol niya na magtrabaho alone. Okay? And that is right here in the next sentence. Sabi, an hour later, pag sabi an hour, that is one hour, right? So, ibig sabihin, itong one-fourth na to, this is Anna alone, and then times one, which is yung hours na nagtrabaho siya by herself. And in this case, isang oras lang, so an hour lang, times one. Okay, again, saan ko to kinuha? One over four kasi si Anna, nagsimula siya magtrabaho na mag-isa sa isa, loob ng isang oras. Kung dalawang oras siya nag, nagtrabaho by herself, this becomes two. Okay? Now, after this, this is the first situation. So, nagsimula siya nagtrabaho mag-isa. Tapos ang sabi, an hour later, Elsa joined her. So, sumali si Elsa. So, ang mangyayari, dadagdag natin ngayon si Elsa. Now, what you need to ask yourself would be this. Nung, nung sumali ba si Elsa, huminto ba si Anna? Now, obviously, hindi siya huminto kasi nag-join siya eh. Join. Ibig sabihin, tumulong siya, nagsimula siyang tumulong. So, nagsimula siya mag-isa, after one hour, tumulong si Elsa. Kaya, ibababa natin yung same original formula. Right here, it becomes like this. So, plus, ito yung nangyari sa first hour, and then yung the rest, which would look like this. Again, it looks the same as this, kasi ang idea would be, bawat oras ngayon nalilipas after that, makaka four hours si Anna, and four hours natatapos ni Anna mag-isa, at dito naman, lalagyan natin yung 2 kasi 2 hours si Elsa mag-isa. Now, this becomes X kasi, kasi nakalagay, how long would it take for them to finish it? So, ang mangyayari, again, meron ka ng isa, tapos may hindi pa natin alam kung gano'ng katagal sila pag nagtulong sila after. And then, of course, dahil isa lang din naman ng snow, snowman, so this still is 1. Kung dalawang snowman, again, this becomes 2. 
Okay. This becomes our formula. So, it's more complicated than yung basic form lang na, na ito. Ito, gagamitin lang natin yan kung, mag, kung sila ay nagtulungan mula sa simula. Pero since hindi sila nagtulungan sila sa simula dahil meron unang oras na nagtrabaho si Anna by herself, iradagdag natin ngayon ito dito. Okay? And then we start solving it. So, isosolve ko lang siya. So, 1 fourth times 1, that is 1 fourth plus, and then you have this. So, this is 1 fourth plus uh, 1 half. So, kung i-LCD natin siya, magiging 4. So, this is 2 over 4 plus 1, uh, uh, 1 over 4 pala, sorry, 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Okay? Kung naguluhan dito sa LCD part, uh, panoorin na nyo na lang yung video ko on fractions, no, yung series na yun. So, x, and then this is equal to 1. So, 1 fourth plus, and then we have 3 fourth ng x is equal to 1. Okay? Now, in this case, dahil gusto natin iwan yung x sa isang side, ililipat natin ngayon yung 1 fourth sa kabilang side. This becomes 3 over 4 x is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth. So, that is 3 over 4 x is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth. So, that is 4 over 4 minus 1 fourth. That is 3 Fourth. Okay? Now, after this, dahil ganito na itsuna nito, para mabura natin yung, yung 3 over 4 at maiwan yung x, imumultiply natin siya by its reciprocal or yung kabaliktaran. So, 4 over 3. Again, kung naiiwan kayo sa proseso nito, panoorin nyo muna yung mga basics, ha? Uh, yung fractions natin, yung equalities natin, and yung video natin on the basics of work problems. Okay? Now, after that, multiply natin siya sa 4 over 3, the idea would be makakancel na natin ito. And nagkataon din, in this case, dahil 3 fourths din siya, pag kinancel ko yan, makakancel din ito kasi that would be 12 over 12. So, 1. So, the answer here would be x is equal to 1. Okay? Now, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung magsisimula si Anna by herself, okay, nagtrabaho siya by herself, natapos niya na yung 1 fourth, yung natitirang trabaho, it will only take them 1 hour para matapos nila yung the rest of the work. So, the answer becomes 1 hour lang. Okay? Now, again, yun yung pinagkaiba niyan. Kasi kung itong sasagutan natin, iba yung magiging sagot niya. Okay? Iba yung magiging answer niya kung ito lang ang formula na gagamitin natin. So, you really have to consider kung ano yung mga parts ng kwento. Um, Mag-isa ba siya muna, tapos nagtulong sila, huminto ba siya or anything. So, this is the first type of problem I want to show you. Now, we're going to use the same information, ha? Just so I can show you the difference. Paano naman kung ganito yung tanong? Okay? So, may pinagkaiba ba siya? Yes. Kasi in this case, sabi, sabi, same lang naman, Anna can build a snowman in 4 hours, Elsa can build 1 in 2 hours. So, parehong 4, tsaka 2. Kaya lang, ito, yung sunod, sabi, Anna started building a snowman, but stopped after an hour. So, nagsimula si Anna, tas huminto siya. Now, sabi, if Elsa steps in after Anna leaves, ang ibig sabihin, umalis na si Anna, huminto na siya, tinuloy ni Elsa yung trabaho. Kaya lang, mag-isa rin si Elsa, right? Kasi wala na si Anna, eh, umalis na siya. Eh. How long would it take for her to finish it? So, the first part would be like this, right? Parang ginawa lang natin kanina. This is Anna working alone. Okay? Dahil isang oras siya nagtrabaho, mag-isa, kasi ito, after Anna started building his snowman, but stopped after an hour. So, isang oras lang siya nagtrabaho. This becomes one pa rin. Again, this is four, kasi four hours si Anna mag-isa. And then, yung next part na nangyari, ang nangyari is Elsa stepped in after Anna left. So, umalis na si Anna, huminto na siya. So, ang sumunod na mangyari, that is plus, pero this time, si Elsa naman mag-isa. Elsa, alone. Kasi hindi na tumulong si Anna, umalis na siya. Okay? So, this part right here, ito yung magiging X natin. Kasi tatanong kung gaano katagal magtatrabaho si Elsa mag-isa para matapos na yung snowman na sinimulan ni Anna. At dahil isa lang yung snowman, 1 pa rin yan. This is 2 kasi this time si, si Elsa naman nagtatrabaho alone. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin, again, pag alone, you just put yung fraction. So, 1 over kung ilang oras niya natatapos mag-isa. And then, times kung ilang oras siya nagtrabaho. Again, this is not always 1, ha? Kung dalawang oras siya nagtrabaho mag-isa bago tumulong si Elsa or bago siya umalis at pinalitan siya ni Elsa, this is 2. Kaya lang, dahil mag-isa lang siya by uh, working by herself for an hour, this is 1. And then this becomes our formula. So when you solve it, this, this becomes 1 fourth plus, and then you have 1 half x. So 1, 1 half x is equal to 1. Okay? So this is just minultiply lang natin yung dalawa. And again, same thing, para maiwan natin yung 
yung x sa isang side, lilipat natin to sa kabila. So, this is 1 half x is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth, which is 1 half x is equal to 3 fourth. Ayan. Tapos, para mabura nga ito, mumultiply natin siya sa reciprocal or kabaliktaran. So, that is 2 over 1. Maka-cancel ito, magiging 1 na siya. So, x is equal to 3 over 4 times 2 over 1. Or, x is equal to 6 over 4 or 3 over 2 hours. Uh, ano yung 3 over 2 hours? That is 1 and a half hours. Right? Okay? So, minultiply lang natin yan. Again, kung naguluhan kayo dito, may video na ako ng multiplying fractions. Ha? So, multiply mo lang across. So, 1 and a half hours siya nagtatra magtatrabaho mag-isa para matapos niya yung job. Si Elsa. Okay? So, this becomes your answer. Again, I want you to understand yung big sabihin yung bawat component nitong, nitong uh, formula. Kanina, Dahil hindi humito si Anna, dahil nagtulong sila, we use the original formula, which is like this. Kasi, again, nagtulong sila. They work together. Pero this time, dahil alone lang si Elsa, the format will look a little bit like this. Okay? Now, paano naman yung iba pang klase ng problem? Paano naman kung ganito? Okay? And then again, we're not going to use the same information then Four hours, tsaka two hours. Magkaiba lang yung sitwasyon. In this case, sabi, Anna can build a snowman in four hours. Elsa can build one in two hours. Okay, same pa rin. The sisters started building a snowman together. So, kung nag-start sila mag-build together, we're going to use the original formula, magkasama sila. It would look like this, right? So, together sila nag-work. So, we have uh, Anna building ng 4 hours, si Elsa 2 hours. And then, nagkasama silang nagtrabaho. And, ang nakalagay dito, if Elsa leaves after an hour, ibig sabihin, nagtrabaho silang magkasama only for 1 hour. And then, Elsa left. Umalis na si Elsa. So, ang nangyari, we have them working together and then, madadagdagan siya ng them working, kaya lang ngayon, hindi na together, ang matitira na lang si Anna. So, we have Anna alone. Which is going to be one-fourth times and then kung ilang oras yung nawawala, that is X. Isa lang ang snowman pa rin, so that would still be one. Ito na yung magiging formula. Okay? Again, bakit? Kasi, nag sila together, isang oras lang, and then may iiwan si Anna by herself. Ito yung magiging itsura ng formula natin. And then you just solve down. So again, this will be over 4. This will be 1 plus 2 over 4. Okay? Times 1. So, 1 lang yun. Plus, and then you have 1 fourth x is equal to 1. This is 3 over 4. Plus 1 fourth x is equal to 1. Uh, itong, bago natin i-divide or i-multiply, itong 3 over 4, lilipat natin sa kabilang side para maiwan yung x. So, this becomes 1 fourth x is equal to 1 minus 3 over 4. So, you have 1 fourth x is equal to 1 fourth, kasi 1 minus 3 fourth is 1 fourth. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 4 over 1. Maka-cancel natin to. Maka-cancel din natin to kasi it's the same. So, x is equal to 1. The answer is 1 hour. Ibig sabihin, pag nagtulong sila, natapos na ng isang oras, Tapos, umalis si Elsa, iniwan niya si Anna mag -isa. That is one hour. Now, if you notice, it's the same answer as the first one. Kasi kanina naman, balik, binaliktad lang natin. Mag-isa si Anna by, for one hour, tas kung ilang oras sila together. So, it really does make sense na one hour din yung sagot dito. Kasi, binaliktad lang natin sitwasyon kanina. So, that means tama rin tayo. So, what do I want you to take away from this? Again, bawat situation, whether may umalis, may dumating, kailangan mahahati siya into that. You have the parts. Una magkasama sila and then mag-isa. Kung mag-isa, tapos magkasama, ganun din ang mangyayari. Just be comfortable with the structure of the formula. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to find out kung paano makuha yung reviewers, how to attend the live review events, or join the online review program. I would love to hear back from you. Kasi itong topic na to actually ni-request ninyo, that's why we're talking about that. So I do listen to your suggestions. Uh, pinipila ko yan, mahaba pa yung list natin ng mga videos na gusto kong gawin sa inyo. So I really pray na... I'd be well enough to keep doing this for as long as possible. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you need to subscribe. Hit the bell icon para malaman niyo as soon as new video posts para wala kayong mamiss. Thank you guys. God bless inyo lahat. Sabi nga, never stop learning. Aja, aja, kain niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.